If you want to learn about the top things that I wish I would have known when I started this YouTube channel, then keep watching. <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back. This is Michael with the Weekly Intention and today's video is going to be a little bit different. If you followed or subscribed to my channel in the last year, you probably have noticed that I interview people from all walks of life and I try to create a message around positivity, improving your life and just being a better human and share the story of how people who have done exceptional things were in the same shoes that you all have been. But in that, in that process, I realized that I haven't really shared much of myself, and that's where I want to change that. So today is going to be about the top things I wish I would have known when I started this YouTube channel. Number one, I wasn't patient enough with myself when I started this channel. You know, I saw people who had millions of subscribers and people who were getting so many views, and I expected that I would be there right away, and I started to set huge lofty goals for myself. I think my first goal for myself was I want to get to a thousand subscribers this year. And in hindsight, we can't always control that. And I, I kind of let that get me down and get in the way of me just producing content. So I would say be patient with yourself, set mini goals and find ways to have little quick wins and mini wins. So that way you're not burning yourself out. At the end of the day, this should be a fun process. This shouldn't be something that is a negative. And, and I think that patience is the number one thing that's going to help you do that. The next thing is just getting started. I wanted to create this YouTube channel and I thought about this for years before I actually ended up creating it. And the ultimate factor in that was me just overthinking it, thinking that the situation had to be perfect or that I had to talk about the perfect topic or have the perfect year or do any of this stuff when really I should have just started making videos because that's the ultimate teacher is just recording and learning as you go and getting comfortable in front of the camera and ultimately getting comfortable talking about things that matter to you and are important to you. The next thing, and arguably I would say this is one of the most important things, is there's a science behind getting your videos in front of people and ultimately it comes down to your title and your thumbnails. When I first started creating content for the first year or so, I was creating thumbnails, which is the little thing that people see when they look at your videos that had no relevance to the video and they didn't tell anybody what the actual content was about. So that would be number one is having a really compelling thumbnail and thinking to yourself, if I was looking for this topic or if I was looking at this video, would this make me want to actually see the rest of the video or propel me to actually click on the video? And then second thing is the title. I was titling my videos with something so, so specific that nobody would ever search for the title for the keywords or for the titles that I was putting it under. So ultimately what I learned is one, you should be using some sort of tool like vidIQ or a TubeBuddy to be analyzing your titles. And two, there's a sweet spot between competitiveness with the, t the search title and how many people are looking at it. So you want a title that is very searchable. So something that people are actually looking for on YouTube, but then something that isn't extremely competitive that you're competing with channels that are getting millions of views on that same title. And in fact, vidIQ will give you an actual score for the, the title of the video so you can find out how relevant it's going to be when you're recommending that title. So just make sure that you're thinking about what that title is going to be and kind of create the content with that in mind because you want to get your video in front of people. The next thing is, is that when I started, I spent way too much money on gear. I've got multiple cameras. I've got all these lights. I've got a great audio setup and all these things, but I didn't need all of those things to get started. And ultimately, if that's what's stopping you from creating content, all you need is your phone and a ring light or even a basic Canon camera. So I would say just start creating content. And as you go upgrade little things over time, you don't need to have a full production setup to just get started creating content. Ultimately, you just need to start creating videos. And then last but not least, I wasn't trusting in my vision. When you are creating content, you have to do something and create something that you are passionate about because ultimately you have to put your name next to that and people can tell if you're speaking with conviction or not. And people feed off of positive energy and good energy. For me, I knew I wanted to create content around personal development, motivation, and lifestyle. And I wasn't going to change that for other people or create content around something that I didn't have any passion about. And also with so many other people creating 
content, you know, in the mo- personal development and motivation space, I wanted to make sure that I was being true to myself and bringing on guests that I thought were relevant and asking questions that I thought were important that were actually going to help people out and not just copying what the next person is doing because I wanted it to be unique to myself and create a brand that is unique to the weekly intention. So I would say just trust your vision, be authentic to yourself, and, and listen to your intuition when you're creating that content. And I don't think that you can steer yourself wrong. And that is a wrap. I hope that these tips helped you out. I know that these are all things that I wish I would have known when I was creating a YouTube channel. And they probably would have cut a year off of my learning curve. So hopefully that's helpful to you. And make sure to like this video, share it with other people, and subscribe to my channel. All of my content is personal development and motivation content. So if you're looking to improve in life, inspire change, or do better, I'm always bringing new and fresh ideas to the table. And like I mentioned, I'm going to start creating more lifestyle content for myself so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And until next time, this is Michael with The Week Be Intention. Take care.